before we begin i would like to show you my rough flow chart of this project to give you an idea of how we are going to handle the food ordering features on the multi vendor restaurants uh, well this is just a rough sketch or you can say it's just an overview kind of flow chart uh, i have not put uh, each and every small functionalities in this flow chart uh, because then it will become uh, so big that it will be uh, very difficult to understand and i'll update this uh, flow chart whenever i feel it's uh, necessary on the go and i uh, uh, will also leave the link to this flow chart uh, in the resource section of this video so that uh, you can go ahead and download it for your reference with that said i will quickly walk you through this flow chart uh, then we start building our uh, features all right uh, right now so this is how it is going to look as a whole all right so what i'm going to do i am actually going to zoom in a little bit so that you can clearly see what i have written here all right so let me go to the top of this so here as you can see the first thing is the incoming user right the random user can come to your website he can be registered or he may not be registered right if he is registered then of course he can just go to the login page and do other stuff right if what if the a uh, user is not registered right so he has uh, two options uh, one is uh, he can register as a customer and another one is he can actually uh, register as a vendor let's see the scenario of the uh, random user comes to our site and he is not a registered person and he choose to register himself as a uh, restaurant or maybe you can call him as a vendor right so at that case what will happen of course we are going to throw him an registration page and once the registration is complete we will verify his email address and his existence with the token verification all right so after the to token verification is done the request will be submitted to the admin so admin now has the uh, you know has the ability to approve this uh, restaurant uh maybe based on based on his uh, uh license right because uh, while registering the restaurant we are actually uh going to ask him uh, for the uh, registration certificate or something like that so once the admin has approved this particular uh, restaurant then he will now be able to log into our uh, portal uh, you know our marketplace okay so as soon as he log in at this stage we are actually going to uh, decide whether the logged in user is a restaurant or a, or a customer right because uh, as you can see we have two different registration pages for our uh, you know restaurant as well as the customer right but we will only be having one login page for both the customers and the uh, restaurant in the login form as soon as he try to log in we will uh, you know we will decide the person who is trying to log in is the uh, vendor or you know uh, the uh, restaurant or a customer right if if he is a customer then of course this uh, this part will run or right? this part will run and if the person is the restaurant then this part will run all right so in our case in the example i'm talking about is the restaurant right so here we will decide the login logged in user is a restaurant so we will take him to the restaurant dashboard all right so in the restaurant dashboard we will be having some basic crud operations to be done that is a restaurant owner can update his profile okay and he can update his uh, location also he can update his timings okay he, his uh, restaurant timings okay so once that is done uh, the next very big step is to create a, you know create a menu okay so here i call it build menu all right so this is actually the critical part of our application all right so once he has built the menu you know he will publish that menu to the marketplace okay so this is one circle and of course at this stage uh, so many small uh, you know small to tiny functionalities will uh, will happen but i have not written uh, those things here right so just to simplify things i have written the major things 
the basic CRUD operations and the menu. Okay, so then publish and publish it to the marketplace. So now we have a food in our marketplace, right? Now let's consider the second uh, scenario that the random user come, he is not registered, then register as a customer and he will log in and we will again decide if the register you know if the logged in user is a customer or a vendor and he turned to be a customer then the customer can actually uh, either go to marketplace or he can go to customer dashboard right in the customer dashboard he will again have the my profile section and the my order section and of course he'll be having a sign out and also he'll be having some uh, little uh, other features also all right we will see that while we build uh, this feature and here in the marketplace when he entered uh, you know when the customer comes to this marketplace he now has the ability to uh, find the, the find the restaurants uh, to order the food right so here uh, we are actually uh, giving him the ability to search by location and search by the keyword okay so here he can he can either type the restaurant name all right he can he can either type the restaurant name or by location also he can search okay so when i said the search by location i will most probably try to implement the nearby uh, restaurants feature all right so when you click on one single button so uh, i think uh, yeah here when you click on this this button so it should actually take your current location and based on that uh, uh, you will your search result you know search result or maybe the restaurant nearby uh, will pop up all right so i'm thinking of that let's see how it goes all right so you will be landed into the search result page okay so once once you are in the search result page you will of course add the food to the cart right after that of course uh, you'll have to make a payment okay so if the payment gets failed okay in case of the payment failure we will again uh, send the user back to the cart so that he can try again all right and in case of the payment success we will actually send uh, you know we will actually uh, deduct the admin commission okay so it's like uh, maybe we'll decide one particular percentage of uh, you know of the order to go to the admin so if the whole cart amount is hundred dollar maybe 10% uh, of the hundred dollar will go to the admin because he is providing the uh, he's providing this platform right uh, this marketplace so uh, that's why he deserves that 10% or 20% uh, and this is up to you uh, how much percentage admin want to uh, you know take for uh, himself so we will we will deduct that uh, admin commission right after after the payment is success so once that is done the next thing uh, we need to do is the after order functionalities so after order functionalities simply means that uh, we need to clear the cart items and uh, we need to send emails to the uh, restaurants and also we'll we'll have to send the emails to the a customer that we have you know we have received your order right the same way we'll also send the email to the uh, restaurant that you have got the new order right of course uh, it will come to this order and orders and transaction can be accessed from the uh, restaurant dashboard and when he opens the order again he will have the ability to accept the order reject the order you know uh, stuff like that so we will handle those scenarios when we when we are working on this thing so that's pretty much the overview of how things are going to work in this case and as we uh, move along with the functionalities i will definitely add things to this flowchart okay maybe some things are missing in this flowchart uh, that that i may need to add while i am developing this feature real time right so that's it for this video i will actually attach this attach the link to this uh, flowchart you know maybe png or jpg or the svg file of this flowchart in the 
resource section of this video you can you can simply go ahead and download the flowchart okay so with that said i will actually stop this video for now in the next one we will start implementing the registration for our uh, customer and the restaurant right we have the buttons ready and we will work on the customer registration page okay so thank you i will see you in the next one